Hello, this is Adam with Tech Dive. Today we're going to be talking about Movie Studio 16 Platinum and how to track text. So if you haven't seen it already, please go ahead and watch my how to do motion tracking tutorial because that is the most important foundation and I'll tag it right up here. But uh, I'm going to go through how to motion track text in this tutorial. So first, you're going to want to duplicate your footage, right? So go ahead and grab it, copy go to the track above now in the previous tutorial we went ahead and moved picture and picture up out of the way so don't do it in the picture and picture track make sure you do it in a separate video track uh, right click paste you're gonna make sure these are synced together frame by frame that they're not one frame off like that they're frame to frame together they should snap together and then you have the identical footage twice you're gonna go to the top footage and you're gonna go to video effects and you're going to go to Bezier masking and so Bezier masking is really for masking video and effects and tracking that masking but you can hack that for text and so Vegas supports that using the masking that you've done in this effect to use it for text and I have it in my pro tutorial I talk about all of it together and this one I'm doing it as a separate tutorial because I think I think in movie studios it's worth uh, bringing them into two different pieces. And so for this one, you open up Bezier Masking, and you're going to want to select the type of masking you're doing. So uh, for te tracking text, you just need something simple. I want the text to be above my head, so I'm going to track my head. Now again, in the other tutorial, I talk about what you need to track. You need something high contrast, but we're going to track my head. and what we're going to do is we're going to go scroll down here on this event effect and go to tracking and you're going to go to the start of the clip and then you're going to hit you go to options make sure you got location selected now if you have pro you need to check out my pro tutorial because there's a lot more options here but this isn't pros movie studios and for movie studios you just got start it's going to track what i believe is every five frames so it's got my face tracked all the way throughout here if you want to see if it works, you can make some sort of weird change to the bottom track, like uh, some some very crazy change. Wow, that's crazy. But if we can watch my face throughout this whole thing, this is trippy. <laughs> very trippy. But so it definitely attracts my face, right? So the effect works. Wow, that's, that's exciting. That's really cool. Uh, <laughs> but the effect works, obviously, because you can see my face being tracked right there. So uh, if you go to this bottom track, hit Effect button, and then uh, Remove Effect, you can remove the effect, that, the effect that you did to that track. So that way it's no longer affected by the effect. And uh, it's now back to normal. So now you know the tracking worked. So what you can do with this top clip, highlighted so the with the tracking that you have highlighted now if you want to know why we have two tr two clips for text tracking that's covered in my other tutorial I highly recommend you watch that one again I said it for like five times but uh, for text what you're gonna do is you have this highlighted and then you go to tools and you're gonna go to extensions and you're going to go to add text to motion track so you go add text to motion track and here you can offset. Uh, so offset is just like math class. Here's your x coordinate, your y coordinates. If you do a y offset, it goes above the motion tracking. I want it to be a little bit above my head, so I'm going to do a y offset. I'm going to hit OK. It generates this text track. Now notice it did not generate it in the picture and picture track. It made a new track. So it generates this text track, and you can put it wherever you want as long as it's above it, so you can see. But it puts it above and it tracks with my head right here see it puts a placeholder text in and, and then you can edit the text normally now if you need a text editing tutorial go ahead and check that out up here but uh, I'm going to go to placeholder and I'm gonna say player one and then uh, I like the text color but you can edit the text color the scale the size I'm gonna make the a smaller size and then uh, now watch this I got a little player one it tracks with my head 
pretty good there as I walk away. So that is how you do motion track text in Movie Studio 16 Platinum. If you have the pro version, you have a few more options with how you can do it, but it's still really cool than Movie Studio 16 Platinum, how you still have these available options. And, and there's a lot you can do with this here. That's still pretty robust to have in a consumer edition of this uh, software. So if you're interested in buying Pro or Movie Studio, if you do that through my affiliates link, that helps me out. If you would like to sign up for Skillshare, I'm doing some Skillshare tutorials as well. And if you would like to sign up for Skillshare, you can have two free months of it if you sign up through my link. And that helps me out uh, if you sign up there. I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one to come out with multiple videos like this a week and like if this video helped you out thanks for watching I will see you next time